Hi, this is Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and today we're going to take a look at AC7 Pro. This is really an awesome application. Basically, this is a control interface for Final Cut, Logic, Pro Tools, Soundtrack Pro, and there's hardware-based equivalents to this, but they cost somewhere in the range of like $1,200 to $1,500. And uh, this application is only $9.99, and you figure, you know, $500 for the iPad, you know, you're looking at $510 if you're a pro audio or a video editor versus $1,200 to $1,500. Uh, the interaction's great. Uh, the developers have done a great job on this, uh, on this app. And what I'd like to do now is to sort of step you through how this works. The first thing you'll need to do is uh, go to the developer's website and they'll give you links on DS MIDI, Wi-Fi, and MIDI pipe. You get these installed and make sure that AC7 Pro is on the same Wi-Fi network and you're ready to launch your editing program or your audio program. And it's as simple as that as far as getting the software uh, to talk to AC7 Pro. Once you've got those two applications installed and running and you make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network, uh, then you go into your editing program and your audio program and you configure AC7 uh, with that program. Let me show you how that's done. So it's very easy to add the control surface. You just go to your tools, you click control surfaces, uh, you want to select a Mackie emulation here and we'll add it. And you see here, Mackie, you want this to be the DS MIDI Wi-Fi out on the input connection. And on the output connections, you want MIDI pipe input one. You select OK, hit OK, and now you're linked. So now that we've got everything set up in Final Cut Pro, uh, I've got the AC7 Pro running over here. It's uh, hooked up via Wi-Fi. And now you can play it anytime. And it's playing, you can stop, you can scrub. I can adjust my levels. Hi, this is Mr. Pence from tapcritic.com, and today we're going to take a look at Atomic Web for the Oculus. So pretty sweet. Um, and you can also have it automate levels, and it'll play back the automation, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and throw in a little audio track here. You can see it's playing back the automation. Um, so we're going to automate the audio as well. Hi, this is Mr. Pence from Tap Safari handle memory. So I'm going to play that back, go to the front, and you can see this is reset and it's going to play it back in automation. And, and you know the thing with Final Cut, the thing with Final Cut is you know you can only drag one layer at a time over here with a mouse. The ability of having the AC Pro uh, application is you can manipulate multiple channels uh, at the same time, which is really, really awesome. And uh, this is really, really a great tool. Like I said, the hardware version of this costs $1,200. Uh, the ability to get an iPad and spend 10 bucks is way cheaper and it's really, really cool. Uh, so now that we've seen how that works in Final Cut, now I'm gonna launch Soundtrack Pro and show you how it's so easy to set this up. Uh, you select your control surfaces. Uh, you use want to use Mackie, and once again, you just add it. Uh, you want the input connection to be the DS MIDI Wi-Fi, and the output connection to be the MIDI pipe input one. And as soon as you click that, you're ready to rock. Uh, 
it's, what's really cool is if you look here, your track names, uh, like right here, I've got guitar on track one, drums on track two, bass on track three, and bell on track four. If you look on the iPad here, uh, they go straight to the track names uh, on the AC7 Pro on the iPad, which is really, really, really cool. And I'm just going to go ahead and rewind here and hit play. Okay, now I'm going to go here and automate uh, some levels here, which is really, really cool. And I'll show you how this works. I'm going to hit the latch here. And now I can hit play. Take down the drum. I'll take the cowbell down a little bit. Take the guitar down a little bit. Bring guitar back up here. Bring that cowbell back up. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the beginning and we're going to go ahead and read it. And there's our live automation. Now, ideally, I mean, I'd rather have this sort of handheld in my lap, you know, doing these faders uh, quickly. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, I just sort of wanted to show you uh, how this interacts with Final Cut Pro and Soundtrack Pro. So this is AC7 Pro. It's $9.99 on the iTunes App Store. And if you're an editor, if you do any kind of music mixing, uh, the $9.99 is a steal. This is absolutely an incredible program. The developers have done a great job. Uh, the only complaint I have, and it's not really AC, uh, 7's Pro, it's not really AC7 Pro's fault, is I'm hoping down the road Final Cut and Soundtrack Pro will push VU meter data uh, through here. Logic does. Unfortunately, I, I don't have Logic installed. Um, but that's the only one thing that I'm hoping Final Cut and Soundtrack Pro uh, will incorporate into their software down the road. Uh, AC7 Pro, $9.99. I highly, highly recommend this app if you mix audio and or if you're a video editor. This is Mr. Pence from tapcritic.com, and I'll see you soon.